Hello and welcome to The Wargamer and you're joining me for part two of my new series, The Armoury, in which I show you how to convert and kitbash your miniatures. This time I'll be showing you how you can convert your plastic airborne to crew a 57mm anti-tank gun and also the three-man MMG team. I'll be showing you how to do this using a plastic US airborne infantry sprue and also the metal 57mm anti-tank gun. The first team we'll be looking at is the MMG team and the first team member will be one of the loaders. Now we only get one lying down body on the paratrooper sprue and we'll be using this one for the gunner. So we need to improvise, we need to create a second lying down body. So I'm going to be using body one here, uh, rifle arm 26 and left arm number 38. Now we're going to be applying these in such a way which will actually create the effect of the body lying down. So we're going to be having the body lying down on his left side like so, and we'll basically be placing this arm underneath to support the body, and the rifle arm will go on top as if it's holding the rifle like so. For the rest of the components, such as the, the head and any webbing, you can choose which items you want to use yourself. So here we have the first loader. You can see I've got him in this almost prone position. It looks like he's diving into action and shouting some orders to the gunner, who will be placed in the center of the base with the second loader on the right and this loader on the left. So let's move on to assembling the gunner. The next team member we'll be building is the MMG gunner himself. I'm using standard parts for this particular assembly. So we have part 9, which is the actual 30 cal itself. We have part 10, which is the bipod. Part 7, which is the right leg. And also the body and the left leg, which is part 6. And finally, we're also using part 14, which is a, a left arm, which is listed as a BAR arm, but you'll be using it for the LMG in this regards. And here we have the assembled gunner. As you can see, it's quite a simple construction, this particular miniature is. We've got them in the prone position, and if I just bring in my second loader, you can see that when they're positioned like this, you can roughly see how we will be building up the MMG team. So let's move on to building the final loader. The final MMG team member that we'll be building will be the second loader. Now we'll be using component number two, which is the legs and the body. We'll also be using the shoulder slung weapon, which is component 23. Uh, we'll also be using the LMG loader left arm, component 11. And finally, the actual ammo can itself, component 12. Now we won't be using the ammo can in its form here. What we'll be doing is we'll be trimming off the actual uh, the ammunition that you can see just inside there and clipping off the lid and closing the lid on the actual cam. We want it to look like this MMG team is just deploying. Other than those components I've just specified, feel free to use any other components such as the choice of heads and webbing on the rest of the miniature. And here we have the completed final member of the MMG team, complete with a head and also some webbing as well. You can see the position we've gone for is one that's uh, just about kneeling down and it's just ready to open up the uh, ammo can that we've got at the feet here and start loading ammunition towards the gunner himself. So that's the MMG team, let's move on to the 57mm anti-tank team. Now before you go on to assemble your anti-tank crew, I'd recommend building up the anti-tank gun itself. This gives you a rough idea as to where you can place your miniatures and also if I bring in a base here, I've got this particular multi-unit base. Now you can use these multi-units or you can choose not to, it's up to you. You can just cover them up with sand and leave them as they are. But if you're placing it with use of the bases, I would recommend placing it slightly forward using these prongs based in roughly around this area so you can still use these two bases and slightly off center like so, so you can place someone there, there and there. For the first anti-tank crew member, you'll need the following components. First of all, you'll need component 3, which is these standing legs and body, as well as component 33, which is these binoculars. Now we're going to be assembling these like so, so the binoculars are up to the face. And you can use any head or and webbing combination that you'd like for the rest of this miniature. And here we have the first anti-tank crew member. You can see I've also based. You can see we've got this, um, looking through the binoculars, uh, picking out targets for the anti-tank gun. So that's the first crew member completed. Let's move on to the second. For the second crew member, we will now want to uh, take component 34, which is this machete arm, and trim off the machete itself. Now we're gonna be using a hobby knife to remove the handle there, and also the actual blade itself from the top of the hand, leaving the hand itself intact and in this closed fist position. So as you can see, I've removed the machete from component 34, which gives us this uh, generic um, arm here which doesn't have anything in its hand which is what we want and also I've taken component 4 off this route which is the standing legs and body and finally component 30 as well. Now I'll be using component 30 specifically on the left hand side of the anti-tank gun to operate the breach. So you can see we're going to have a position roughly like this and bring in the anti-tank gun and we're going to be using this to operate the actual breach itself. We're going to be placing this particular crew member right next to the anti-tank gun. 
And here we have the second crew member. You can see at the moment his pose looks a little bit strange, but if I just bring in the actual anti-tank gun itself and place this crew member just to the left side of the tank, you can see actually if you position it, it looks more like he's actually operating the anti-tank gun itself there. So let's move on to the third and final crew member who will be sitting at this position. For the final anti-tank crew member, you'll need the following components. First of all, you'll need component 32, which are these pointing arms. You'll also need component 5, which are these uh, standing legs and body. And finally, you also need component 31. Now, I'll be using this miniature to um, look as though he's pointing out targets. We're placing the arm like so, and just having the left arm pointing, and the right arm will just be at the side of the miniature at rest. And this brings us to the final anti-tank crew member. You can see here that I've uh, fully assembled the miniature with a helmet and also some uh, equipment on the back there as well. You can see he's uh, holding his uh, pistol but also pointing out targets for the uh, anti-tank crew gunner. And here we have the completed anti-tank gun and MMG team. If you would like to try out these conversions for yourself, War Games have put together a pack which contains a paratrooper sprue and also the metal anti-tank gun as well. And that's available for £12 on the War Games web store, which you can find a link to in the description below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do let me know in the comments below, as well as your suggestions of what bolt action conversions you would like to see me tackle in the future. To be kept up to date with all the future projects that I'm working on, be sure to check out both my Facebook and Instagram pages, which you can find links to in the description below. If you enjoyed these tutorials and would like to support me, you can do so by checking out my Patreon page, which you can find a link to in the description below. From there, you can donate to me from as little as a dollar a month, which will just really help me in producing future content. And finally, if you haven't done so already, be sure to check out parts one and three of these paratrooper conversions. So until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.